Welcome back. Last time we talked about how thesis statements need to make a claim rather than just state a topic. But that's not the only thing a thesis statement needs to accomplish. A good thesis statement also lays out a specific scope for the focus of the essay. And if that scope is either ridiculously vague or overly specific, it will make it much harder for you to write an effective essay. So your thesis statement needs to navigate a fine line between a claim that's too broad and one that's too specific. How do you know when your claim is just right? The key here is to think like a reader. You need to be able to step outside of your own brain and imagine yourself as a reader that might not immediately agree with what you're saying. Then ask yourself this. If I were reading this thesis statement, what would it take to convince me that this claim is true? Let's look at an example. Police should be required to get a warrant to search a suspect's cell phone because, for example, that cell phone could contain pictures of the suspect with a girlfriend he has tried to keep secret, which would be a violation of his right to privacy. Ask yourself, how long would it take me to prove this thesis? Or how many examples am I going to be able to find to help me illustrate this thesis? You're probably answered, not very long or not very many. The claim you're making isn't hard to understand, so it will probably only take a short paragraph to explain it or prove it. And if you're expected to write a whole essay about this, then that's a bit of a problem. You could fill your essay with several different hypothetical variations of the scenario in your claim, but at that point you'd just be beating a dead horse. Which is seriously inhumane, just for the record. So, this example thesis is way too specific. The solution here is simple. Replace the specific example with a broader category that might contain the example. Maybe something like this. The law should require police to get a warrant before searching a suspect's cell phone because cell phones often contain a variety of private, personal information that probably has nothing to do with the reason for which the suspect was arrested in the first place. Let's try another example. Today's digital devices could be used for a variety of purposes. Alright, let's test it. What would it take to prove this claim? Let's see. The term digital devices could include cell phones, tablets, music players, desktops, laptops, watches, Google Glass, digital cameras, digital camcorders, gaming consoles, 3D printers, and that variety of purposes could include making phone calls, sending text messages, playing games, testing your blood sugar, taking pictures, making movies, writing an essay, plotting a political revolution, and in order to fully support or prove your claim, you're going to have to cover all of those things. So buckle up, because you just signed up to write an essay the length of the Bible. Or Harry Potter 5, your choice. In other words, the claim is way too broad, and you need to revise it. Overly broad thesis statements are a common problem. So common that we'll need another video lesson to cover how to revise them. In the meantime, we need some practice identifying claims that are either too broad or too specific. It's time to go to work. <laughs>